Hey everyone, this is Fam Time back with another Ubuntu customization video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get this Kong Q widgets on your Ubuntu 22.04 desktop. So without wasting any more time, let's just get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the terminal and here I'm just going to type sudo apt install conkey dash all type the password press enter and once you have done that just close the terminal and then go to the browser and here i'll provide the link of this page is down in the description of this video so here is the conkey theme that i'm going to write reinstall actually there are two of them so one is this one don't forget you can find the link of this page is down in the description of this video so let's just go to the files and then just download the first file all right so once i've done that close this tab and then go to the second page and then just download this one click on download And once that is done as well just close the browser and then go to your downloads directory and then I'm just going to quickly extract these folders that I've just downloaded click on extract to click on select and this other one as well extract to click on select and then delete these zip files all right so one is this one and one is this one all right so let's just get this folder out of that folder and paste it over here and then just delete this one now here i'm just going to create a new folder so that i don't mix things up so i'm just going to type here conky themes and then just i'm going to drag this to conkey theme folders inside that folder that I've just created all right here so the first thing that I'm going to do is just go inside the rock and roll folder and then go inside uh, this folder which is called rock and then just try to install this font over here which is called Anurati and then just click on install and once you've done that just close it go back go back all right guys now i'm going to do the same for this con key theme as well so let's go inside the folder then go to fonts and then just install these fonts this one is done then this one and then this one all right guys, so once you've done that let's go back and then go to scripts uh, actually not script let's go to config and then I'm going to just copy these four files this one this one this one and this one copy those go back go back again and then paste it over here and then go to rock and roll and then go to rock again and then just copy this Hermoso RC file copy that and then go back and then paste it over here all right guys so the next thing that i'm going to do is search for text editor and then i'm going to use save it inside that folder that concave theme folder right over here and I'm going to change the name to scripts and then click on save and then I'm going to write a very simple script over here now before that close it and right click on scripts and then go to properties and then here go to permission and then just select this one uh, which is the execute option allow executing file as program and once you select that close it all right 
now let's go to scripts and then here i'm just going to type a very simple command which is this one you can pause the video and you can follow along Beam dash Okay, let's see. And then I'm going to just copy the the path of this files. So copy that and then paste it over here. And actually I'm gonna change the name of this one. Since I'm going to be using this name inside a script so i shouldn't be using any space in these names all right all right so let's paste that over here all right now i'm going to put another slash and then i'm just going to put this all of these names over here so again what I said earlier there shouldn't be any space so I'm just going to simply do that okay I'm gonna copy that name paste it over here and then I'm going to put a and and then simply copy this whole line and then just paste it because I'm doing this for all of these files so there's one two three four five one two three four five all right all right so we don't need the last end and let's just copy this name put this here then copy this one and put it here then this one do the same here as well and then this one and put this over here alright so once you have done that just click on save Alright, so there seem to be some sort of problem over here. So let's just copy this whole thing. And delete this one. Search for text editor. And paste it over here and then save it as scripts and then save it inside the conkey theme folder save it all right right click click on properties go to permission make it executable and that is basically it Now I'm going to search for a startup here and then go to a startup application and then I'm going to click on add and I'm going to go to browse then go to downloads conky theme select scripts and let's just call it conky click on add so what it will do is it will run the script every time you start your computer or log into your desktop all right so once i've done that let's just close it all right guys so what i'm going to do now is just log out and log back in and if i have done everything correctly the con key themes will show on my desktop and let's just quickly do that all right guys so as you can see that i have logged back in and uh, this is how it is kind of looking right now but uh, let me tell you that this doesn't look that good so I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, changes inside the conkey scripts 
so let's go to downloads directory again where I have a script then go to conkey themes and then I'm going to change this harmless RC file first so here what I'm going to change is so first of all I'm going to change it to 0 the cap X and here let's go with something around 200 285 and here I'm going to change the maximum width to 650 and click on save and uh, you will see that it is uh, actually not in the middle so I might have to do a little bit more changes to see which one works well let's go for minus 10 all right so I just put minus 100 100 over here and 285 over here so I think it's in the middle right now all right so let's close this one all right so before I do that I have to do one more thing then so go to Muso RC again and then I'm just going to copy this part only uh, this border order margin from here to the top so I'm going to copy that oops not cut so I'm going to copy that and then go to this other sorry about that concave scripts and then I'm going to just change it to that just paste it over here from border outer margin just paste it here just replace that one save it and as you can see that the border is gone so I'm going to do the same for these other ones as well delete that part and then just paste it save it and you will see that the border is gone so it looks a lot more cleaner now let's do the same for this as well and this last one all right all right so let's first change the position of uh, this theme so let's go here and I'm going to put 1100 here and then 530 let's see how it looks all right this will work all right now let's do the same for this one so here I'm going to put something around 705 and then 530 here as well save it and let's see yep let's keep it right there let's do the other one and this one should be 905 and 530 again and let's see where it is all right so I think this kind of works I think I should move this one a little bit on the left side All right, so this will work. And now, what I'm going to do is change uh, the color of these fonts. So, let's go to this one first CPU course, and let's try to find the default color right over here so I'm gonna turn it to white which is 6 F's 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 save it and as you can see that the color over here has changed let's do the same for these ones as well save it and then this one save this one as well 
and finally this one all right so it looks pretty nice and clean right now all right now I can just take this one and put this at the right bottom corner so I can change the position to maybe like 1100 let's see where it goes yeah this looks pretty all right I guess maybe 1000 all right so I'll go with 900 all right guys now let's just change the wallpaper and let's see how it looks all right so I think it looks pretty clean for me and this is not working either yeah this is pretty all right all right so this is it guys thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful and if it was make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i will really appreciate that and stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video